your boy Norrenrad89 here, bringing you another Bleach Immortal Souls video today. It's going to be week two, going over my free-to-play profile. Hope you guys are all staying safe out there. Wearing those masks. Don't be that guy or gal that's like, I don't need a mask. Don't be that person. Now we're going to get into, hopefully, some gameplay and everything. Show you guys where I'm at. Get down to the nitty-gritty of some War Souls. And show you guys what's going on in the game. Free-to-play. Week two. Let's roll it. Everyone, this is Norrenrad89, bringing you week two of my Bleach Immortal Souls profile. So we're going to show you how far I am so far and everything, going free to play, and what I've unlocked so far. So I'm now at level 37. Power 57k. As you can see, I changed my background of my character because these are my new characters that I've unlocked. I've got 13 now, and like the main top seven, like with Toshiru included, because I just got him going all the way up are like the main ones that I'm focusing on for like arena and everything and for story mode to help me out through all of that. And then we have Orihime also because like she's my main healer. She's the only character right now that I have that's like a healer. So she has to be in the crew. And yeah, we got 13 characters so far. Got some at blue too already. Joshiru, Mario, Karatsuchi, Ichigo, Rangiku. <clears throat> and like when you get the characters, it's great to take as many as you can up to the highest level you can because you need them to do... Watch, we'll go into challenges right here. Soul Society orders, and you need them to dispatch in this. So when you dispatch, you have to meet the requirements. But see, I'm not meeting it because I need her to be blue plus two. So let's see if we can go in and get Momo to blue plus two if we can. Let's see, we have to enhance her. Cool. We are totally ready for it. Blue plus two. And that's how you enhance them. And now we'll go back. Challenges. And then we'll be able to dispatch now. And this is a great challenge because this is where you get your items to do. Watch, let me show you. Your archives. You could update your characters and everything once you increase their things. But when you do this, you can give them favor. And when you give them favor, it increases this right here. And that actually ends up being more initiative for your team which increases their speed and guarantees that they'll be going first when you battle people in like arena and stuff like that so let's see let's go into the bag we got some items in here let's see let's open this chest and see what we get 120 soul jades nice that's awesome check the shop and there's not too much stuff that I'm going for in the shop that I'm like fighting or trying to get all hardcore. So none of this stuff really like is that many. If anything, I might actually do like awaken essences in this shop because that helps out with the weapons and the gears right here or, and stuff. When you awaken them, it increases like this one I have with the two stars on it. So it increases it. Let's see if we can get this guy to blue. Enhance the gears got that to blue <clears throat> so overall i'm very happy with the characters i have i'm happy with toshiru because he's a new character i gotta work on him a bit more do his gears and everything but he's great because he has a chance to actually like do a freeze let me see is it this one yeah he has a chance to cause freeze to two random targets for one round after the weapon awakens damage increases greatly increase the freeze characters and decrease the defense reduced so like that one i want to get up there and try to awaken that but he's definitely a character i'm going to be working on mario's karatsuchi is one of my new favorites because he has he has a poison ability that works really well and i mean a paralyze and yeah poison so it's like his special like does double stuff so i, I like that and he has the war souls these are war souls and the first war soul always usually has to do with rage and you could increase the war souls by promoting them and adding these to them and you could also add other war souls to them to increase the star level and then it costs gold to take it up regenerates 32 rage when attacked <clears throat> the other one 
I need to get better war souls. You get them from like gotcha pulls, but you could also get them from like the prize boxes that you open like in your bag and everything. But this one I have right here it increases the soul bearer's crit chance by 2.7%. And the next star effect, you see that it goes up. So we have different ones. Increases the soul bearer's HP by 2,835 plus 3.38%. So that's a, that's a pretty good one. I wanted to make him more survivable. And then I gave Ichigo this one. Like I said, I really need better War Souls, but I gave Ichigo this one because he has a bleed already and like to increase the damage on it. I was like, yeah, let's do that. Current effect, HP. So I wanted Rangiku to last because she has a silence ability. So on her skills, she could silence last one round after the weapon awakens the damage increases greatly and has a chance to disorient so and when they're silenced they cannot take action during rage skill phase so if they have their rage available they won't do it they're going to end up just doing their basic attack so that's why rangiku is a really good character to have on your team and she's gifted to you just for logging in so <laughs> let's claim some rewards all right so yeah, overall, I'm very happy with this, with the game in general, and I'm going to keep grinding it and keep doing this free-to-play stuff and showing you guys how I'm doing every week. Also going to do some helpful info videos, like once I get better War Souls and I show you guys like where, war so where the War Souls go and stuff, like better who uses them and stuff, then I'll definitely be able to give you guys more info. Ooh, we got a new war soul. Speaking of, increases the soul bear's defense by 180. Like that, that's average. You want the war souls to be able to do multiple things. Like if it has, it affects like defense or it affects HP plus adds percentage or does some of them do like special things in like Serete challenge or like arena, like they have special attributes and stuff like that. <clears throat> so it's always good to read them. Pay attention to them, and like I said, as I get better ones, I'll show you guys more how to upgrade and where to toss them and everything. You can also get War Souls. Each character has a War Soul, and I can't look at it right now because I have to have a purple plus two character. But you could actually use shards of a character to unlock a, their specific War Soul, and it doesn't have to go on that character. But some of the War Souls that the characters have, their true War Souls, are actually pretty legit. So... It's worth doing some of the characters instead of like starring them up all the way and everything. Some of them you just want to grab their war souls. But you definitely want to try to get them to four stars, most characters, because then you get this other ability right here, this passive skill. And then you want to kind of unlock that ability. So it's always good to take them that high. And let's see what else we can get into. We'll show you. Oh, we got cool events. We'll show you this. And also, I was thinking about doing some videos on the challenge right here. Defend the Karakura Town, which is a special event going on right now when you, where you can get the gold tokens and everything. So, like I said, I'm kind of low level right now, but I'll show you guys what's the best kind of strategy you could go in and take into that and everything. Definitely, the silence and disorients are going to help you against Aizen. But he also has like this special like shield ability where like basically it nullifies like all your rage. So certain things, certain techniques to that and everything. We'll go over that in another video. But I hope you guys like these bleach videos. I'll keep them coming and everything. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner for me. And we'll keep these videos coming. Peace out.